Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. Um, I've been guided to do another update because there's a lot going on in the field, as well as um, for especially the ones who were part or are still going to uh, access the group call we did on the... What day do we even have? <laughs> oh yeah, it was the 31st of March, Easter Sunday. <laughs> Uh, which was the Ascended Masterclass, our full and final rising and ascent and resurrection. So thank you so much for those that were present. Um, we are ascending, that's all I can say. I mean, we already were, but this is full and final, complete liftoff. And the next thing is flying, truly. Teleporting, bilocating, telekinesis, okay. Tele telepathy is already um, pretty strong in the field. But again, how everybody is tuning in to what's available, the new Cosmic Christ Blueprint is truly up to each one of us, okay? Each person needs to do their own work, needs to make their own decisions. So all I can truly do is give you all the assistance, help, and uh, tools to make your journey a little bit easier and um, faster, more quickly, because I share all of the <laughs> wisdom, and experiences I've made over the last 13 years, especially, and truly it's beyond that. It's very multidimensional because what we are retrieving is truly multidimensional um, wisdom from all of our lifetimes, okay? So I'm a very, very old soul, truly have been here since the beginning of time. So the way healing works also, because it came up within the membership group container, the chat group is that the way healing works, okay, a healer is a channel for God's source energy to flow through them, but how the healing happens is not up to them. It can look like anything, okay? It can look like a healing crisis. It can look like from not being able to move, you're getting up and starting to do sports the next day, but ultimately, it's not me that's healing you. It's God healing, God's healing energy flowing through me. And again, what happens in each individual, individual person's blueprint is, you know, you can never make any promises. That's not up to me. It's up to a whole lot of things. And that's why it's very important always to, you know, um, not to make the healer responsible, whether it's good or bad. Like I always like to hear feedback just to see how it's going, but how I know from the feedback I get from my activations and these calls, and I know the activations are very powerful. So yeah, you don't want to over overload your system if you feel like it's not, right for you in the moment and you're already struggling but also it could maybe help you to get you out of the slump again each person is different and that's why you always need to listen to your own intuition but I've had it so often when people don't quite feel good that they make me responsible even if they don't say it I feel it okay and it's the same with um, people listening to me and then like oh yeah you said this so many times and it still hasn't happened or I hear you saying this for two years let's hope it's happening now you can't put this on me First of all, if you would have really listened, you would have noticed that I say there is no time and this is truly happening outside of time. This is all about a shift in consciousness and it's always happening now. But truly, obviously, you know, it's the people who don't understand. And if you also think that I'm arrogant, um, I mean, why are you still watching? So, I mean, people do misunderstand that because they look through their own 3D ego filter lens and don't really truly understand that I'm coming from a place of authority and confidence. And I speak the way I speak because I am doing God's work. I speak on behalf of Mother, Father, God. I take this very seriously. Truth is very important to me because this is literally what reality depends upon. And again, if you don't resonate with this, please move along, okay? Because this is truly where also... Um, as transmuters, okay, because I know many of the blue race transmuters are listening that are um, relating to my work and finding resonance there. And, you know, I obviously never said I'm the only one transmuting this. I know there are many out there with me doing this really hard work. I can just give you a tip right now to really say we're done here because we are. So we no longer need to transmute all of the shit people can't face. It is going right back to them, everybody now, because we are at a stage within the ascension where it's completing, where everybody needs to now either do their own work, feel their own feelings, do their own trans transformational work, because the consciousness is at that stage where the heart is taking over and people are able to 
deal with it, okay, where previously they just weren't. And many of us, okay, Blu-rays have such a big heart and compassion and love for humanity, even if they hate on the ones that are healing them, okay, <laughs> that we still do it because we really just want to see everybody happy, not in pain and suffering. So it's been a very hard job, you know, because this is really the pain of the gray lines, especially the feminine Machisedex, the blue rays, the Yanas, because ultimately, because we have such a big blueprint also, those who hold very high coding, the higher your coding is, the higher your DNA blueprint is, the more you have to clear, the more you have to transmute, the more you are connected to certain reality fields. So sometimes people are connected to, you know, a certain area, maybe a Stargate site or a sacred site, a vortex. I literally hold the whole cosmos within me. So that's why it's like being full on. And just a tip for anyone going for clearing. So anyone right now, because this is full and final collective ego death, we are ascending. This means the end of the false matrix, which means the end of the false ego self which has created this insanity, okay? So anyone who's still in a lot of fear and is still in a lot of ego will be struggling. So all I can really suggest is truly, your mind cannot figure this out. You need to surrender your mind to your heart, allow it to guide you. Truth can only be known if, if you fully surrender all of your ego beliefs because the ego right now will be struggling and will be hanging on for dear life and wants you to stay okay and not ascend so you need to really use right use of power over your mind and how you create because every word every you know everything you say think also feel obviously is all being transmitted in the field so you know i mean everything is known now anyway so you can't um there's no more suppression possible also, we are all awakening, okay, this is a full and final collective awakening, but seeing the truth can also bring some people into insanity. So some people who've been in a lot of denial and reversals and false sense of confidence, um, they will be unraveling and might be going slightly insane. I mean, many of us who've been doing this really deep inner hard work truly know, you know, for example, um, the term bifurcation madness is truly as you go through this process because you're, you're shifting your whole worldview around and you're merging literally your right and your left brain which have wanted to always have it either right or wrong good or bad want to put it into compartmentalization wants to understand it um this has been fully switched around so it's a whole 180 degrees 180 degrees also connected to the polar magnetic field shift that is happening in within a consciousness and that can be very rough because it can make you feel insane and I know most of us listening here know what that feels like where you really need to do deep breathing again the recipe is bring it up and out feel it no suppressing observe it with a lot of love and compassion and then when you feel it's done and you got a lesson you let it go okay feel observe let go feel observe let go feel observe let go as the heart is fully awakening you cannot suppress your emotions anymore and you will need to find a way on how to alchemize them appropriately, not um, send negative energies or when you get triggered and you feel angry um, and then you project that energy of anger onto other people. No, you can feel the anger, yeah, but you don't stay there. It's not <laughs> the only person you're always, ever only angry with is yourself, okay? Because these are parts of you that you're still in separation of, with, um, that feel like they are making you angry, but really, if you really stay with it and hold it in your field, not spray it out on the walls, okay, you will find out you're ultimately angry with parts of yourself because somewhere you're compromising yourself and your real true self, okay? Again, you can only get there and see further of why you are behaving, reacting, getting triggered the way you do as you stay with it and just become very calm. Just stay in your own field, observe, Ask God to show you, okay, what you can do in order to transcend, alchemize that anger. Again, we don't get stuck there because it's obviously not healthy for anyone. 
And as you see what makes you angry and then make the adjustments, literally at the end, there's nothing to be angry about anymore. Because when once you're fully aligned with your real true self, you know, you, you might get to situations when you have people like trying to overstep your boundaries and trying to, you know, do stupid things where you're like um, giving a warning growl. And again, if you, you know, keep um, poking the dragons, don't be surprised if you have a little bit of dragon fire being um, blown down your neck. Because the true cosmic mother of dragons are all cosmic dragons, okay? Ultimately, they're not, you know, they're not like they're being depicted or many, you know, in some of the programming belief systems, dragons are being depicted. Um, they are protectors. They are protectors of wisdom, of true gnosis, of the true Christos history teachings. They are the threefold founder flame. They are the triluminaries. They're very high consciousness beings. And they literally hold the gnosis and wisdom of the cosmos within them and we are them and yes if they need to protect they will protect because we came here to protect truth to protect wisdom that is what a wisdom keeper is all about because if somebody distorts our truth and we become insecure in our truth and let other people um you know gaslight us that's the issue this is what has distorted our blueprints ultimately so you only can know real truth, again, when you fully have removed those ego filters, surrender all of your thought forms, belief systems that you have learned from your environment, surrender to God, and ask to be shown the real truth. That's the only way you really know. All of these belief systems, thought forms that many people argue and fight over, okay, which is at the core of the separation, why do you believe what you believe? Because somebody told you so. So unless you yourself had retrieved that information, in your connection to God, you do not you do not know real truth, and you cannot be really certain, and you're not really confident, are you? So that's that. So again, thank you so much for everyone who was part of our group call in the masterclass, our full and final rising, ascent and resurrection. Amazing, truly, very powerful stargate activation. Um, as part of the light language assisted activation, the call went actually for like seven hours, but Sadly, I um, forgot to press record after we came back from the last break. Um, so there's a little bit missing on the Zoom recording, but it's still like almost four hours long. There is a lot of information there. We had a lot of questions that were asked. We talked about a lot of subjects, black magic, um, how we um, maintain our new energy field of the Yan Yun flow, how to balance energy out how to reclaim our life force and how this all works okay and many many other topics so the details are below in the description box if you want to access this it's it's a very powerful healing tool educational tool um you learn so much even beyond all of the stuff i'm talking it's truly the frequencies that i transmit the keys and codes and that i then activate within you so, or help activating. Again, it's not even me. It's just happening through me, truly, okay? And this is, again, the ego suffers, all right? But once you really, truly empty yourself and allow God to work through you, it all becomes a whole lot easier. Again, it's still not quite, you know, um, we're getting to the place where it's really, really light work for those who have done the, the really deep inner work, yeah? And so a big theme that's coming up right now is also abundance, because it's obviously directly interrelated also with New Earth and us shifting our value system and also realizing what this truly is all about. So if we have to, as I said, we're going to do a, another group call, open group call and activation on the 8th um, for this eclipse. And it will be very much about, again, the title is um, terminating the simulation this is already in full force i have to say the i um stepped out like just outside here with the green is but um so just the air there's a there's a really there's just quietness there's an eeriness it's really 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 strange i can really literally feel the false matrix and dissolving around me so this is like the last veil has been fully lifted but yeah some people are struggling in you know, with clarity and really wanting to see the truth. And again, 
you cannot figure this out with your head. You need to feel truth. That's the only way you really know. Real truth is always based in love. Love is the only real truth. Fear is a liar. That's a really basic way of you understanding if what you're thinking is real truth or not. And real truth comes from the heart. Okay. And your mind is a receiver and transmitter. It's not supposed to figure out problems. And you need to get away from trying to figure everything out, trying to understand or like put everything into boxes and get out of your headspace. This mentalness, truly, this is what creates these crazy realities. AI realities are nothing but mentalness. You can create wonderfully complex structures. Okay. And they lead you down windy winding garden paths and they, they look like, wow, this is so, so much interesting information and I need to know all of this because that's what the mind is going to tell you, okay? But it actually leads you just into more confusion, compartmentalization and um, polarity consciousness. So, you know, always um, ask yourself, is this information or what I'm engaging with, is this really supporting my journey? You know, the same as all of these ascension reports, are they really truly supporting you? They're constantly just programming you. You need to be very aware. And there's a lot of shite out there, quite frankly. I can't even look anymore. Very few people truly transmit along the lines of what I transmit. Very few. Now, anyway, and this doesn't come anyway, I'm not going to go into this. So right now what's happening is as this field is being fully blitzed and cleared and purified okay manifestations are super heightened they're much quicker but this is for anything positive or negative so it's whatever you truly are focusing on will be amplified so whether it's a problem something being wrong with you or you're just focusing on being fully healed already and ascended it's really your choice um, so full relaxation, a state of no, man, no mind are much recommended. And as you let it all go, the final, <laughs> this is the final and full collapse of the matrix simulation. I mean, it's already in progress. It's just, are you going to be dragged through it and struggling? Or are you going to just take the easy route and kind of, you know, listen and integrate the tips, instruction sets and navigational tips for the new Cosmic Christ blueprint that will get you there a little bit more quickly. But again, I know also that sometimes people misunderstand me because, you know, much gets lost in translation words. We spoke about this also in the call yesterday, because again, the new divine organic creatrix field, new earth, the unity field is fully telepathic. We are getting rid of words, belief systems, opinions. There's only one truth. It has many perspectives. But again, as we're fully transcending language, which literally is separation within itself, just another, you know, um, reflection of the separation humanity or also cosmically has existed is that again you know you can even speak the same language even sometimes say the same things and you still don't get one another because it's a frequency thing also but this has been fully resolved now as the field adjusts and we fully ascend and shift into all new free worlds okay so this is truly where the true ascended masters the rishis the yanas the diamond avatars and guardians of all new free worlds are remembering who we truly are, and we are fully ascending right now. Ushka, aena, ena, tekenu kuno sutta. Ultimately, your belief system is your only limit. Again, there are many layers and levels to that. Okay, it's not just about you pretending and um, you know speaking out affirmations. You need to truly believe what you're saying, what you're thinking, what you're feeling. You know, again, it comes all back to you being true to yourself. That's why also a lot of the law of attraction doesn't work because it's like you can't just wash over all of your subconscious programming that's constantly make you feel not enough where you have poverty consciousness, where you feel, you know, um, where you have a lack of self-love. Like this is all very much connected to abundance, the level of confidence we have, the level of self-love, self-worth. It's all about that. And you can see some of the, let's say, rich people out there um, have had a kind of, let's say, false sense of self-confidence and self-love, and that is also falling away now, and it's crumbling, okay? So we're talking about real, true self-love, which would also automatically love everyone, all. And there is no all beings, and, and all beings deserve love and healing. You know, it's the same as the work I do. If I would only do it for the people who truly, really appreciate me and really get the value of my gifts and abilities and what I'm bringing to the table... I wouldn't be doing these videos, quite frankly. 
Because I know there's way too many people who are just watching and judging and having opinions and all that kinds of stuff and don't appreciate um, what I'm doing here. Um, and we still do it for all of them. It's the same as we do all of these collective activations and clearing work, isn't it? We do it for all of them. But just again, sometimes healing looks all kinds of ways and things. So for some, it means death. So some people are transitioning because they leave their body behind and get a new one, so to say, as they are transitioning to the other side. And some are going back to source, you know, those that have committed grave crimes against humanity. So again, it's not up to us how that healing works. That's also why we're not responsible in that sense. Okay. Obviously, we do our best in order to, you know, do this in the most integrous way. It's the same as, you know, for example, star seeds right now. A big issue has always been that many, and I've been there, okay, that's why I know, because of all of the programming out there in spiritual in the spiritual community of these rescue packages and these false ascension timelines, okay, that they're propagating and trying to lead you down, which is not real ascension. Okay, this is not about money, this is not about rescue packages. I mean, the whole money system is connected to black magic. It's part of the enslavement system. Again, we're using it and playing with it whilst we are still using it as a form to exchange. It's a form of exchanging energy. Because again, as I said in my last video, you know, what do you do for money? You give them your energy and your time. The same as I have put all of my energy and my time into this. And then I transmit my wisdom, my gnosis that helps other people that then don't have to go through so much confusion turmoil pain suffering that i have gone through and believe me my ascension journey has very much been especially for the last 13 years i mean there have been very few days i don't know if i ever got a full week of feeling great i usually feel like shit there was there used to always be like especially at the beginning of my ascension journey for years i was literally just in bed i could do very very little and I mean, even, you know, until, I don't know, maybe yesterday, there would be a lot of, you know, anxiety and depression that I had to deal with because also I'm churning so much energy as well as so much energy has been directed at me again from black magicians, all of the stuff, because I'm literally right on top of their list to get rid of, you know, death threats, uh, not death threats, death wishes, death spells. Um, also, you know, I mean, there's so much that goes on that, um, is a lot to take and transmute and to clear out. Um, and thankfully now we have literally sealed, or again, each one gets on their own, the morphogenetic field of the cosmic crisis, the cosmic God act. This is like fully completing right now, healing and cracking wide open both at the same time. Again, I explained this more in yesterday's call, if you want to know more, because I also need to keep a balance here yeah, of not just sharing everything for free i do enough for free i've done so much for free for so many years and um it's so important for us now because again many people like me okay it took us a while to get to a place where we can live off what we're doing and still being in integrity yeah that's the big point um but truly to even the way for now everybody to step up okay as the leaders of all new free worlds so your gifts and your abilities your superpowers are literally your key to your abundance okay it's not just going to be handed to you so these rescue packages these false ascension timelines this is false ascension new earth it's infinite abundance it's you literally manifesting out of thin air whatever you want and i posted a video earlier on because it was really tying into what i was saying yesterday in a call when we talked about um it was actually about vegetarianism um Anyway, and I was then talking about, you know, we will literally be just able to, you know, manifest just like they do on a Starship Enterprise with the replicators, you know, but it's like, hey, here it is. Um, that's infinite abundance. You don't need freaking money. As well as, you know, there will be bartering, exchanges. And again, that's only those who are really fully ascending in their diamond avatar self. Not everybody is fully ascending to that form, but we're all getting out of this false matrix. This truly is a case of, all for one, one for all, and all for love. So stop hating on the people like me. If it isn't your thing, buzz off, do something else, truly. You need to get busy with your own life, okay? These are all the fence and observers, and I mean, really, you're not doing yourself any favor. Because anyone you're having an issue with, anyone you're angry with, 
I even hate, literally, you're hating yourself. Okay, you're having those issues with yourself. Now, you can feel frustrated or again, angry when people are overstepping your boundaries and are sending negative energy to you or being an asshole or trying to hurt you, you know, whichever way. Um, but you don't stay there, you transmute it, okay? You know that it's ultimately not the highest truth because you come out the other end and you try and figure out, okay, why are they the way they are? The same is, for example, with people who have not enough money, okay, or are like struggling, especially in the spiritual community, but also are you truly owning your self-worth, self-love? Are you owning the worth of your gifts and abilities? Are you just keep giving them away for free? Or you believe that they, nobody is going to want them? I mean, how is anybody going to acknowledge your worth? You're not acknowledging it. So this is where it starts, okay? It has very much to do with self-love, self-worth. And yeah, it's been very hard because we've been told all of our lives we are not, okay? That we're not enough or we're too much and all of this, all of this conditioning that we had to peel away from us. But then as you really excavate your real true self, this is real true confidence. You know yourself. When you truly know yourself, you know yourself as one with God. You have crystal clarity. There's no more confusion. There's no more incoherence between your heart and mind, what you believe in, okay? That's the key, truly to ascension. So it's very important right now to not wait for some abundance package to be delivered to you, but to really claim it. You need to claim your abundance. You need to go out there and do stuff. Okay, this is not just about being. And yes, we go through different phases in our ascension journey, where again, we also, you have years maybe, or times where you can't work, you can't do anything. And But I always knew I was doing very important work, even you know during those times, clearing. And I had a very deep-seated belief. I knew I would always be supported as long as I listened to my intuition and I know my worth of what I'm doing. I knew I would be supported. And that belief system then results in a reality that sees me supported. It doesn't matter how that money came. And it came in many different ways. And for many years, I basically um, was relying on donations. And it always saw me through. And this was through years, okay, up until like literally now. But there's so much fuckery going on, trying to mess with us, our abundance. That's a whole other layer, okay? But that's fully falling away now where no more black magic is going to mess with our levels of abundance and our success and our dreams come becoming true. But the only way that's going to happen is that you have that full, true inner knowing. There's no doubt. There's no insecurity of you knowing it's here now. So your belief systems are your only limit, truly. But again, there are many layers to this. And this is why I've done so many videos, so many calls to keep helping and assisting people to break through all of this programming to remember the real truth. Yeah. So, but again, you need to do this all also for yourself. Nobody can do this for you. And you can't put this on anyone else's shoulders of, you know, uh, when it's not coming, what I'm talking about. You need to make it true for yourself. Okay. This is what I'm accessing. And here, these are the tips on how to access that which I'm seeing is becoming available. But, you know, you need to make it happen. This is the whole thing. We really need to all get out of victim uh, and this victimizer consciousness, okay, where we're the victims and we are wanting someone else to rescue us or we're making other people responsible for the shit we're in. Yes, you can make hold people accountable, okay, for when they try and fuck with you. But you hold the ultimate power to break through whatever shit they're throwing at you, which we have together all as one. So amazing work. This false fuckery is going fully <laughs> dissolving, literally, like the dream that it is. It's not real. You don't even need to destroy nothing. You're just dissolving the dream. Okay? And it's literally where you just won't be able to remember this false matrix anymore, so to say. It's, it's all about memories. We also talked about this more on the call yesterday. Again, tune in if you want to. I know there were some issues with um, the people not being able to access or the, the download document. You know, wh when you sign up over the Kofi link, you get an email and then there is a button where you basically can download the Word document that holds all the replay details in it. Um, and some had some issues with it, but I think it then has been resolved. I know it's interference trying to play out again, because again, these are really, truly powerful activations and group calls. And again, I know the powers that were trying to fuck with us still um trying to do their best you know i mean i can still see the signs i'm just like yeah whatever really it's like so 
you know, because literally, as you no longer like get affected by this and can just laugh at it and really truly see things for what they are, like you are invincible, you are unfuckable with, okay, unbreakable. So, but you need to make that happen. You need to reclaim all of your power. And literally, that's what, what I'm all about, okay? So, to help you empower yourself. But then you can't put this back at me, right? And it's not gonna, it's not gonna work anymore. It just doesn't. And I think many people are realizing this. The same as again, you as a transmuter need to right now make a really big statement of no longer carrying the collective load. Everybody needs to now pick up their own backpack and sort out their shit. Because again, you can't do this for people. We've been also enabling at a larger level as well as we knew it was necessary to get us to the stage now. It's a both end. But then when you're done, you're done. Okay. So I can feel my field massively shifting, becoming lighter because I'm freaking done. Asanati. So that's the scent. Ayanata. So this is where the ultimate love bliss wave is here, delivering magical miracles. And our biggest, wildest dreams fulfilled. Again, believing is seeing. If you think I'm talking nonsense, obviously you're not going to get there. You know, I'm, I can just like give you tips. But um, if you think this is nonsense, then yeah, you're not part of that reality. So many are awakening from their spiritual narcolepsy. Okay, wakey, wakey, smell the coffee. We are awakening from the dream. And yeah, that can be sometimes rough. So again, some people might find that a little bit maddening and they find it hard to look at their shit and what has really been going on and where they maybe, you know, went a little bit wrong or a lot. But again, it's just your ego suffering. And again, because it's going all the way down the cosmic toilet, it will struggle for dear life to hang on to the illusion. Know it for what it is, okay? Fear is not real. And it's not a virtue. Truly, it's not, okay? If anything, it represents the devil, Anti-life. It's not your true state of beingness. Again, sensing danger is something totally different. Knowing when something is not right for us, having the intuition is something totally different. Running constantly on fear programming is confusion, incoherence, psychosis, states of early paranoia. And that's the thing. When you don't have enough connection to the heart or enough of a perception of what's even happening and a spiritual warfare at play, yeah, you, I mean and you're trying to sort this all out in your head, you will go into further states of, you know, mental um, and emotional disarray. But, you know, this is where, you know, psychotic breaks and so forth can also happen. Because, again, you really need to do this through the heart. And there's so much misinformation, also not enough help out there. That That's really been the issue. But, again, what we've been working on is making this available within, within the field. It's a telepathic quantum field. Okay, where people will just pick up through their frequency now as everything shifts on the truth. Because these are all collective thought forms, belief systems. Again, we are here to mainly have the responsibility, accountability to uh, correct and override. That's the re-encryption. That's the auroras. That's the plasmas. You're re-encrypting your own DNA blueprint, your own consciousness, the beliefs and thought forms that you hold, which are creating your reality. Thoughts create matter. And this also includes your inner self-talk and thoughts you have about other people. That's how black magic starts, okay? It starts with thoughts, whether it's when you when you hate yourself or um, hate someone else or wish them unwell, that, that's how black magic starts. And we've all misused and abused our power of words and thoughts so far. But this is really where we need to truly um, level up, own our shit, own our gifts and abilities and claim all of our abundance. Okay, because this is your true abundance. This is your true worth. And if you don't claim it, you know, I mean, where where are we at? Because this is really the time when, you know, you need to fully rise as the new leaders of new earth if you believe yourself to be one. You know, it's not the others, like it's us. We are it. So stop giving your power away to false leaders. You are it. You need to be your own Highest authority, God sovereign and free. This is the only way this works. This doesn't happen through a flock of sheep. This happens through a pack of lions. Where are the lions? The cosmic dragons? I know you're here. Usha Kanate. So stop problem solving. Okay, get out of your mind. Stop trying to figure this out. Your ego mind cannot figure this out. It's incoherent by nature. It's not real. It's a bunch of programs, belief systems, sport forms that don't really make true sense all packed together. It's all about un 
taking these layers off, okay, excavating your real true self underneath all of these layers of falseness, okay? And you will feel when you're in truth. Truth just feels, you just know. It's knowing, you know? It's cognizance. That's what's coming online. You're not wondering about it. You're not wondering about truth. Okay? And this is really why it's so important. You need to listen to your intuition, your guidance. That's our more comes online. You need to feel it. Okay? And that's how you can really hone those skills and really learn to discern. Because it's all about discernment, not judgment. Okay? Because the judgments, the opinions, all of this is going out the window because this is literally what has kept us, us separated. And this is also what creates time and space, ultimately. Again, it needed to happen for us all to make all of these experiences to come back together, the Alpha and the Omega, to end it for good, forever, forever, for real, which is now, which I cannot take. So, and also just before I forget, because again, the end of that group call wasn't recorded, um, but I know it's in the field, it's known, will be known, what was discussed. So, you know, we don't need to convince anyone of our truth, it will just be known as the new earth field unity field grid the cosmic emerald and crystal diamond rosa network is taking fully over truth is just known and nobody needs to argue over it anymore and then there's no more confusion hallelujah i'm looking forward to that so let go of your mind you literally need to lose your mind the monkey mind the ego mind okay it's totally different to the god mind in order to access real truth Keep emptying yourself only at one of the God minds. As you empty yourself, allow the Holy Spirit to fulfill you. Surrender your false ego self, your attachment to people, places, things, belief systems, what you believe to be right or wrong. Fully empty yourself. There's nothing to hold on to. You shall know real truth. And that's how we access the really real. Because again, it's consciousness that projects out your realities, your deepest held beliefs and expectations. So this is all again around abundance. So yeah, we go through different phases, especially as star seeds, where you might not be working for a while. Um, but again, if you are following your uh, inner guidance, are there in service to cosmic ascension truly, and are basically doing your job, even if it's invisible to others, you will be supported if that is your belief system. You need to right now, all of the fears come up. If you have deep, a deep sense of, you know, lack of self-worth, love. You know, I have these like poverty consciousness programmings running. And again, they're collective. They're not just yours, okay? Then, yeah, you will feel lack in your um, reality. And again, this has been clearing out massively. So we will all have had come up things because it can be both, whether it's greed, whether it's like overspending, overgiving, whether it's like holding on to all of your money and not sharing it, you know, and, and putting it to good use. All of these are distortions that are preventing us from truly accessing real true abundance and again what we're accessing now in regards to abundance is very much different to how many people are thinking about it okay this is not about a repair pro project where we need packages of money to be paid out for us to rescue other people or do projects on your app new earth is already there there is nothing that needs to be fixed this is a fake reality it's a dream you don't need to Fix the fake. It's not real. Okay, we're fixing it from an energetic inner outer level of shifting our perception, our belief systems, our consciousness, switching on our multidimensional DNA blueprint, which holds the real truth, that projects out infinite abundance. It's us ultimately activating our diamond rainbow plasma light body and that of earth, which is already in full force. And that happens through the frequency of love. So you need to truly, really love yourself, all parts, but you need to really get to know yourself, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Not just the good, not just saying, yeah, I'm great. I love myself. But deep down, you don't really, okay? You need to be true to yourself. That's the whole thing. You need to excavate the unconscious. That's where the real gold is. Also, darkness for me represents the unconscious. It's, it's again, it's just light you cannot see yet. It holds so much wisdom. If you stop putting it into boxes of good, right, wrong, bad, that's all polarity consciousness. You cannot see clearly. True multidimensional truth 
is literally multicolored. It's this, it's that, it's that, it's this, 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 this. That's why often I can't really reply to questions in the comment sections or, you know, even an email sent to me because it just, it, it, I literally would need, it's just through talking that I can really get most of what I would want to transmit across. It's just too much. There's too much, you know, it's not just one thing. It's many things. Uh, because new earth reality is definitely not black and white, okay? So this is how we're healing all fragmentation and separation within the self right now. It's already here. Uh, but again, it comes up and out. You seeing yourself separate from your reality, from other people. Again, having boundaries, discernment is something totally different, but you need to know yourself as one with those who you have an issue with or hate, the Illuminati, the, the most horrible person out there. We are all one, literally. Okay, so they're just showing you what you still need to integrate, heal, alchemize. Okay, and you understanding why, for example, some people, you know, some of the rich people out there are just sitting on their money. I mean, it's just another reflection of those of us who have very little and are struggling. It both can, comes from uh, lack consciousness. So you thinking you are not enough. Because you feel like you never have enough. So either you end up with not having enough or you're going to keep hanging on to everything and thinking this is giving you some false sense of security or some sense of worth, the things you have, you know, all of that stuff or how, how much money you have in your bank account or I don't know how many diamonds, okay? I mean, this is never going to make you happy if you don't feel truly worthy loving yourself deep within. And this is what a lot of rich people are feeling right now. I know that. So, you know, it might have worked for them superficially so far, but it really truly doesn't. And again, also those of us who have been struggling, again, there's been a lot of fuckery and messing with the whole financial system. I mean, the whole enslavement system is all like laid out like this, you know, especially at the moment. Um, but you can transcend all of this as you fully reclaim your power. That's the whole thing, okay? We're never powerless here. I mean, we only got here because we gave our power away. So you have to claim it back to reclaim our worlds. It's you reclaiming your unconsciousness, your own blueprint, your body parts, your light body, okay? All of those fragments, all of that separation fully healed. Because all together we make up, we're all little sparks of God's source consciousness, okay? And all together we make up God's source consciousness. It doesn't matter what that is, all right? And ultimately everything is part of this. That includes AI, soulless beings, okay? It's still consciousness, the same as a table, okay? It's still part, it's all energy frequency and vibration. Nothing is separated from that. As long as you still are in this whole mindset of us versus them, I mean, it's happening on some layer, but you also need to, at the same time, hold that consciousness that they are playing a really important role and they're ultimately helping you to power all the way up and reclaim all of your real true self. Once you have done that, there's no more need for them and they will leave the playing field, okay? So stop making them responsible for that. More, let's say thank you. It's the same and I, I really have, through my you know very painful ascension journey, learned to perfect the whole art of, I always say thank you to God. If I'm going through any kind of difficulties, if I'm down on the floor, breaking down, if I'm, experiencing joy, bliss, good fortune, miracles, anything, everything, thank you, thank you, thank you, because I know all of this I need, so to say. You always get what you need, not what you want, okay? Once your false ego self has gone down the toilet, your needs or wants will also align with that of what source has in store for you, which is now. Okay, but ultimately you get there by not needing anything anymore. And I don't mean from that place of, again, poverty consciousness, oh, I don't need nothing. No, not that. You're not supposed to live like on the most minimal things. Okay, it's the same as like, you know, for example, like us, most of our stars, it's we like organic, you know, good foods, good quality products. And usually they're super overpriced, you know, it's like, and they really take the piss again. All right. And I mean, we're supposed to have all of these things, the abundance that we seek, okay? But if you have incoherent thought forms, belief systems running in your field, for example, you hate the Illuminati or rich people, it's never going to come to you because you're hating that part of you like that wants to be rich and abundant. And again, this is beyond money. I'm not looking at money. It's just, again, still a form. We are right now exchanging um, 
energy. So if you find what I'm sharing here really helps you and is supporting you on your journey, and I've put all my energy and time into providing this information for free, then yeah, and you feel and you can give me a donation back and, you know, you're guided to. I mean, that's one way of doing it. And yes, on New Earth, it would be great if we can and just, you know, I don't know, and I said this yesterday, you know, we could barter and we could exchange things, but it's just not really possible, you know, as it is now. You know what I mean? So we're just using this as, as a way, the same as, you know, we often play with these numbers, with the 555, with the 2222, 33, 33, 44, 44, whatever it may be, a 111, 144. And thank you so much for anyone who sent a donation, supported me through the calls, any which way. Thank you so, so much. I don't usually get back to most people to say, you know, personal thank you, just because I'm already struggling with the emails that are being sent to me or messages, you know what I mean? Like just, just keeping up with the bare minimum. So just take this as a big thank you. And I truly appreciate you and all your support. Also liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, sending me good energy, wanting to see me do well, you know, because again, if one of us is sent, we all are sent. Okay, as well as it's up to each one how far, but we're all getting out of this prison matrix. All right, and it's been a big wound of the gray lines, literally try to heal the fallen angelics, and they hated on them, hunted them down, raped them, killed them. And we still have been continuously healing them. Because that's how much love we have. And that's what I'm doing here. And yeah, if it was down to just me doing it for the people who would appreciate that, I mean, I wouldn't be reaching many people because people can only see you for who you truly are when they can see themselves for who they truly are. And that's why most people have not been able to see me, nor can truly appreciate what I'm offering. And again, when I speak from this I am place, okay, I'm speaking from the great I am because I know many people who are watching can relate to what I'm saying. And I'm giving you just some tips of, you know, this is the big picture and these are the tips um, that may help you to clear out any remaining blocks you have in regards to abundance, because new earth is pure abundance. But again, it's way beyond money. And if you have attachments to money, fears around money, they will come up right now for you to clear them. So again, say thank you, thank you, thank you. Whenever I'm been going through a tight spot, I always can see the blessings. Yeah, I can always like, wow, because it's really freeing, actually, when you have very little and you know you're still being supported because that's God looking after you. You always have enough. If you have enough, if you truly deeply believe that you are enough, that you have enough, you will be given enough. But now we're going to the next level where we have more than enough and we'll, of course, share it with one another. OK, um, but but it's literally just a byproduct of you fully aligning with your real true self and as well as. You know, another byproduct is all of the interference patterns, all of the fuckery, all of the black magic being fully cleared. So this is why abundance and manifestations are coming up massively right now. And it's super important the right use of your mind, the power of your mind in what you're wanting to manifest. So if you're focusing on the problems, on the lack of not having enough, you will manifest more. And you can't make other people responsible, but I would take this as an opportunity to see how can I empower myself? You know, your gifts and abilities, if you keep giving them away for free, you're not claiming your value. Again, we can do things for free, but it's like it's about this balance of give and take. If you keep giving and giving and giving, yeah, it's it's like there's an imbalance in the field. You know, you're also telling yourself that, that your gifts and your time and your energy is not worth anything. So think about this. Yeah, these are principles. And again, we could talk about this forever, but we will do more if we need to have another call on the 8th go more into that. And I haven't done the description of that yet, but I will over the next probably couple of days. Oh yeah, and on the 4th, we're going to have a membership container call. Uh, I'll post the details today, aka the, the second, yeah, later today. Um, For that, okay, just our little group huddle come together, help check in how we're doing, okay? For those in the... Uh, Ascended Masterclass membership container. If anyone still wants to join, you can do that and also look back on all of the other replays. I would uh, recommend tier two. Tier three is closed um, because it's a very focused group that I've been working with for a while and introducing new people. Unless you would be already within my membership container, tier two, it, it would bring in too much um, incoherence at this point, okay? I need people to be at a certain level of consciousness and understanding what I'm doing. Um, yeah, and tier one, really, most people are not in there anymore because um, most people are interested in the, the 
open group calls and activations, activations, and not just these weekly check-ins. So in tier two of the Ascended Master membership container, the details, the link is below. You can access all of the replays, I think since September at the very least last year. There's loads to look back on, loads to immerse yourself in, loads to support and help you on your journey. All of my transmissions help you to clear, heal, balance, harmonize, upgrade, activate your field, uh, and that of the new Cosmic Christ Blueprint. Okay, so again, we go for different times where you might, you know, again, work undercover, so to say, clearing everything, you know, but this is really a time where you need to step all the way up as the leaders for new earth. And again, if you don't own the worth and value of your gift, your time, your energy, other people won't either. Okay, and I've had more of the issue with people not really getting me, not really truly seeing the worth of my gifts and abilities. Ultimately, I would like to, you know, increase prices on my um, services, so to say, because I know they're way more worth a lot more. Um, as well as I know that people right, you know, as it has been so far, most can't really truly afford it. That's also why I always share for free still and even those who don't really truly appreciate it, okay? Because again, everybody ultimately deserves healing and love, even if they hate on you, all right? That's how big the love is. So again, just sharing our gifts for free, you know, and thinking, oh, I'm doing this great work and service to all. Again, you need to really step up and power up right now, okay? No longer hiding, no longer playing small. Um, Again, it looks different for each person. There will be times where you're just supposed to just rest or, again, you're just being provided for for you to be able to focus on, you know, whatever grid work and clearing work you're doing, all right? Because many of us usually will be enabled one way or another to not do a normal nine-to-five job because it doesn't really fit in at all with the work we're doing. Like, it's literally impossible to keep up. But again, for some, it, it means, you know, whether you work with children, whether you work in a in a shop or somebody was sharing today like she made a beautiful star seed um as a steward you know um on an airplane and spreading the light codes the love his essence his keys and its codes and activates people that way as long as you're happy as long as you feel you are really truly fulfilling your mission you are provided for you are happy that's all you need to know there's no right or wrong it just needs to fit for you it needs to work for you okay so there are many layers and levels again to this. It's not just black and white, okay? And again, it's also like if it would just share it with people who truly appreciate us, yeah. I mean, you know, so far there, um, because again, people often don't see your worth because they can't see their own worth. That's been the issue, okay? And it's very much interlinked with poverty consciousness, but just understand that greed and not having enough both come from a place of lack, from poverty consciousness, like feeling like that we are not enough or we don't have enough and that then keeps projecting out in your reality or again if you're on that more greedy thing it doesn't matter how much you have it will never be enough okay like i had to for example like i was mentioning this yesterday i needed to look at you know a couple of things because again like overspending in regards to i like to eat nice things you know i'm very like for example water i like a specific water it's more expensive you know these kind of things but then i also need to see hmm, you know, like ultimately it always works out. Yeah. But obviously you also need to then sometimes say, okay, have I been maybe overspending here? But with me, it also has been an issue, for example, um, food, because I don't like very often because of the frequencies I'm running and the energies I'm dealing with, like very often I just don't feel hungry. So I always make the intention to cook for myself or eat good food. And then I never get around to eating it or cooking it because I don't have the energy literally. And uh, I don't have the appetite. Uh, and then that results in wasting the food, which is terrible. And I really don't like that. So I've been working on that and continue to do so until this is all fine-tuned and fully aligned. You know, what I believe to be the right way because it's all energy. You know, food, money, time, all of that, okay? So that's the new currency, truly. It's, it's always been energy. It's just that now it doesn't just turn into money, but all kinds of other things. And again, when we spend time and energy with people and supporting them and helping them and never get anything back and just feel um, sucked out of it, depleted, obviously we need to look at that and need to adjust this. And you've seen me, for those who 
been listening for a while, struggling with this, trying to get this right, you know, because I don't like to not have people join a call if they're really, truly, truly in it, really are all in and supporting me. And I don't want money either, you know, to prevent them from doing that. But I can't do that with everyone because when I have said in the past, here, if you can't afford it, just send me an email. I get like 20 emails and I get so much admin through it. It just really sucks me out of it. I get depleted and I just can't do it because there's not enough, you know, I don't have anyone to help me with anything. I do everything myself and it's just, there's just so much I can do. And this is why I share so much for free also. And I have so many free activations on my SoundCloud. I pay for that shit to have that SoundCloud account, you know, to provide free activations to people. I'm just putting this all into perspective because people need to understand how this works. And again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Make up your own mind, please. Most of all, okay? But make it come from the heart because your ego mind cannot see things clearly. Your God mind does. So. Right now, truly, for the light body activations, especially those that took part in the call, and again, it depends. You might be feeling like jumping around, um, being very active. I can feel my life force is literally returning as I'm cutting off all of this shit now. And I'm no longer carrying people's crap. And I'm very <laughs> clear in um, when people are trying to project onto me or trying to offload their crap onto me. My field is just so rejecting this and it's just going right back to sender. And this is happening at a big collective level because we are fully sealing our own field and no longer allowing outside forces, energies, thoughts, energy sent to us from people, mostly unconsciously, okay, to affect us anymore. Again, as you become fully sovereign, fully confident in your own field, it's like Teflon, okay? And that's where we're at now. This is all part of you fully healing your whole morphogenetic field and ascending. And again, as we are doing this, this is happening for the planet because the cosmic Christ, those star seeds who hold these core codes, those blueprints, okay, for the cosmos, they are the ones who are making that happen. I forgot half sentence again what I was saying there. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I love that. Oh, funny. So for, you know, in general, part of the light body activations is full relaxation really helps because what is a body in a state of full relaxation is ultimately love. You know what I mean? Because fear is your body contracted. It's um, in resistance. That's what closes down the DNA, the blueprint. Okay. So love, relaxation is literally the antidote and is what allows your multidimensional DNA to activate and you to heal. And also about healing, remember, when things come up, okay, especially physically, they are already healing. Everything is upside down here. The issue is people like, um, and it took me a long time at the beginning of the ascension journey, knowing that all the time not feeling good and having various aches and pains, that this was not that there was nothing wrong with me. Like I haven't been to a doctor for many years. And I also know that the spirit body right now is overwriting any physical, mental, emotional distortions also the etheric field is being fully clear by that because it supersedes all okay and i've seen this in my own body i'm literally done here there's just a little bit more heart healing um but we're literally there now okay that needs to happen that fully ignites everything and that's very much what we've been busy working on so this is also when the magnetic field and pole shift fully completes um and the wounded healer has been healed, okay? And this is where literally, as we heal, all heal. But we need to know, again, how to assist others and balance this out with looking after ourselves. I'm still working on that, obviously, as you can see. Um, because ultimately, I have so many more things to do for myself. But then again, who's the one, you know, being guided <laughs> uh, to do this video anyway? Because again, it would just, I, I cannot rest when I know there's a big download that I need to transmit to keep helping the field to shift. Because I know each one of my videos is creating massive quantum shifts in the field. And I'm just saying, I, I just know. This is nothing to do with arrogance. This is just confidence and knowing my mission. I'm, I'm very um, grounded in that. And I know what I'm here for. And I know my value and worth and only an insecure ego would think that this is arrogant now ascension is a process of humanity 
like ascension is a process okay even if you have very quick awakenings okay you still will need an integration period because you are loaded up with programmings okay that need to be purged and peeled away so it's a process it's literally a genetic mutation process humanity is going through this is why so much physical stuff comes up but again as it comes up it's already clearing and healing your body has very intelligent healing technology if you can stand out stay out of fear and just allow your body to heal itself you'll be fine again it doesn't mean that you never go to the doctor or a healthcare professional if you feel guided to but you know again just really listen to your intuition there and don't just run um you know, to a doctor out of fear, because most of the time they can't help you. They won't find anything because it's truly ascension symptoms. And you're literally turning into liquid plasma light on the inside, but they can't see that yet. Okay, it's not visible to them, so to say. All right. But this is truly where our genetics, our DNA truly shifts and mutates. Um, but again, this ancient technology can't quite pick up on these things yet. Yeah. And any kind of technology that's coming online now, it's organic crystalline technologies not this ai crap this is going fully offline okay just know if your phone is not working or your laptop goes down or there's no uh connection or you're having trouble with the systems again there's been many like this you know lately where um you know you have blackouts certain service providers and uh the ai is not working so well i mean it never really has but it's really just a good sign i'm always happy when that happens <laughs> So just know also physical ailments is basically the last station. If you haven't resolved something mentally or emotional, it will show up in your body. And as you're going through deep uh, clearing processes of all of your past lifetimes, of all of these miasma, all of these reversals, distortions, attachments, cords, hooks, all of the stuff, okay, we all have them um until we fully clear ourselves of them which is about now what did i want to say about that literally i've just been generally in a no mind state today beyond having to talk to people so to say not having to but generally you know what i mean i'm like this is really where the no mind the god mind takes over and you're no longer like constantly in your head worrying about past present future about shit about your body about what's going to happen not you're just like la 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 that's true loveless okay i can only recommend recommend it and again i'm not even hanging on to nothing if i feel like yesterday for example um in the run-up to the activation of 31st oh my god i felt so intense um energy rising up Again, the extended Kundalini currents of the Kunda Ray, the Antakarana, the Rainbow Bridge, connecting us all the way back to source and cosmically so. Um, it's been fully activated. Our um, chakra column has been fully cleared. And there have been a lot of activation in um, activations, you know, around the heart, around the solar plexus, the neural center, the sacral abdomen, and then also like this morning woke up with a migraine um but thankfully that disappeared soon so that massive because the god mind is fully taking over again these are also the crystal palace activation so there's a lot happening again for me pains it's just like okay like I, this has been a daily occurrence for me for the last 13 years and even before then i have never like i rarely ever feel good it's just starting now as you're fully lifting letting go of all of that shit which is thought forms belief systems that's what's causing the miasma Really, truly, let it all go. Again, we talk more about this in the call. If you want to access that, I can only recommend it. So this is the collective ego death. You need to be happy to die, literally. Okay? Like, you are not your body. You're not your thoughts. You're not your emotions. Okay? You are infinite God source consciousness that has never been born, cannot die. And you're having temporary experiences throughout lifetimes. So you need to fully transcend any fears about getting ill, being sick, dying. I need to be happy to jump over the cliff, so to say, metaphorically speaking. Yeah. Nobody please kill themselves. You get me. All right. So, but it's like you it, it's it's just ego death. Because again, the ego will struggle right now to hold on to that construct. Okay, because it's the only thing it knows. 
and it's kind of a sense of false security it offers but it's not true it's not real you are you're hanging on to the unreal and fears again are not real they're false evidence appearing real all right so stop trying to figure this out with your mind as you empty yourself and surrender all to source you will know truth okay all right and again, you need to have a lot of resilience when it comes to these ascension symptoms. The bigger the blueprint, the more you will have to transmute and clear and heal. And it's, yeah, it's a very taxing process. Again, I've been feeling shit for most of the last 13 years, truly. And I had very few days or if ever, even a week, I can't even remember one, where I would just be feeling good. Um, so you need a lot of resilience. You need to just have a lot of patience. Um, Again, just feel it, observe it, let go. Embrace the pain, don't resist it or worry about it because that only amplifies the pain. It makes it last longer. You're in resistance. Again, if you're fixing, fixating on something that's been wrong with you, is wrong with you, then <laughs> you will increase that, okay? If you can just be in love, give love to your body, those places, and keep listening to your intuition on how to best support it, you'll get out the other end pretty quickly, especially now, okay? So it's a state of, no fear truly okay because again it's like you can be in pain and not suffer if you don't resist it and again it's just energy that needs to leave your body and move through okay because it's also these states of resistance and being in fear that cause the dis-ease in the body again you're like you know you're not like ah everything is okay i'm just like you know, I need to purchase right now. You're like, oh, something's wrong with me. I need to do something about it. What's going to happen? You know what I mean? So ultimately all diseases, illnesses are psychosomatic and through ascension, your body heals itself. It's ultimately healing. Again, everything is upside down here. That's what you need to really understand. Yeah? Because it's, your body has ancient plasma technology. It's literally a healing grail i don't know why a healing grail comes up <laughs> i'm trying to find the right word it's not a healing machine because i don't write, like the word machine but it's like it, it 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 holds everything you need inside of you literally okay and then it gets projected out again sometimes you will be guided to supplements or maybe a natural healer or maybe sometimes you even need to go to a real doctor like you know whatever gp um to get certain assistance but generally, truly, your body knows how to heal itself back to its original state of perfection. Okay, your eternal light body doesn't have any pain, doesn't have any disease, no illness. It's eternal. It doesn't age. It doesn't get sick. It doesn't die. That's what we're going for here. Okay, but that just happens with full light body activation. And not everybody right now on the planet can go through that because they're not of the right frequency resonance and their body is too digressed to make that jump. Okay. So just know that pain is a sign of transformation from carbon to crystal liquid plasma light and it's no small feat, okay? And it's just like the birth of a child. So it can bring a lot of pain. It can feel like you or your child is about to lose their life. This is the end. But, you know, as you make it through the other end, it's, um, you know, it, again, there's so much down to the power of the mind because, again, the mind is what makes you sick, it's all psychosomatic. Again, I can recommend German new medicine. Look that up. And again, we spoke more about this yesterday in the call. So I'm going to cut this now. Get to the end. Yeah. Again, words are spells, okay? Including your inner self-talk. Um, I shared yesterday also along the lines of the video I posted today from Sat Yoga Institute. Again, always take what resonates deep to rest. I don't agree with everything in there. Um, but mostly what came uh, in regards to white magic and how it works and what that is. Um, I transmitted also yesterday in the call, so that was quite funny when I came across that video in my feed today. So if you want to look at the community page, you can find that video there about white magic, okay? And again, we've all done black magic at some point when we wish ill upon another, when we hate upon another, even negative self-talk, okay? It's you abusing the power of your own mind and words. That's how it starts. Everything starts small, okay? And that's how we repair it. As we go to the cause of how all started, shift it there with the small, that's how the big black magic fully disappears. 
right use of power over the mind. And it's been led through the heart. Again, it can only happen through you at one with the God mind. 444. So neutrality is key in all of this. All right. Everything is manifesting, healing, happening a hundred times faster, at least. Truly at quantum God source speed. So as everything, the whole field is being complete, completely blitzed and cleared. And again, I can highly recommend the activation we did also as part of the group call, which will assist you with this. Also the activation of the Cosmic Quantum Tree of Life, the Interdimensional Stargate system. It's all here. So just open up wide to receive all that you are worth. Okay, your biggest dreams fulfilled as magic becomes real. But again, you need to be in consciousness and frequency alignment with what I'm speaking about to access that, okay? And not needing anything is what attracts truly everything. And again, it's like more like, you know, you don't need anything from outside of you to make you feel good about yourself. Again, this is very much to do with you having a sovereign energy field, which is what we also talked about in the call in more detail. So let go of all the attachments, okay? As you give it all away, so to say, everything will be delivered to you now, okay? Not running after nothing, Everything is you. Everything is projected out from inside of you. So don't seek outside of you for what you already are. You are reality. That's the thing. That's why it's so important to transcend all of the uh, separation and fragmentation where you feel separate from your own reality and feel still in victim consciousness and disempowered. Okay? All right. Now, so remember, you are God sovereign and free, okay? You hold all the power you need in order to free yourself fully from this false fear matrix. Only you can make it happen for you. As you do it, you also do it on behalf of all. And ultimately, we're all getting here out together. But again, the more of us can jump on the ship, the quicker we get there, so to say. Because we are constantly co-creating the future, so to say, in every now moment, okay? Nothing is truly set here beyond to where we're going, but everything in between, there's a lot of leeway, there's a lot of open space of what and how it's going to happen, okay? And how we're going to get there. That's the other thing. If we would know it all, it would be quite boring also. So remember, fear is a liar. Only love is true, okay? And we are one cosmic body, heart, mind, and soul. That's the thing. We truly are all one, all right? And when we believe other some people don't deserve love or healing, that's you saying that to parts of yourself which you have already disowned or don't love and think they cannot be healed, okay? Because there is no separation. The separation is the ultimate illusion, as well as this has all been about us becoming our own sovereign um individuated self within the oneness the both end which has been a hard thing again the unifying of the heart mind and the right and left brain the higher and lower self in collapsing all of these polarities the dichotomy within the zero point field the still point of true divine love neutrality and oneness okay and again all i've been sharing really truly assists you with getting there so to say but again you hold all of the answers within you Okay, your connection to source is what this is all about. Beyond what I ever talked to you about, you need to know your own truth. Okay, and truly remember that because we came here to return the real truth, which is what returns real true organic reality. It doesn't happen when we are in our false self, lying to ourselves, lying to others, pretending we are something that we're not. Okay, but I talked about this also uh, a lot in my last video in generally. So it's all about your real, raw, true self. But again, it's in alignment with your true self. Okay? It's in full coherence and clarity. Because, yeah, many people can just like, I don't know, speak their truth, but it's not really true. You know what I mean? Not real truth. So, all for one, one for all, and all for love, because we are truly one. Remember, Okay, the totality of the singularity is what gets us into the unity field. This is literally what it is about. So transcend all remaining separations still have within you. It's your own fragmentation. Okay. Okay. Now we leave it here. Again, if you want to access that group call of over four hours and the activation, very powerful. Uh, the details are in the description box. The same for the group container. 
And again, tier two would be my suggestion. And I'm going to leave the link to a couple of songs below as well that have come up. One is don't worry, be happy, because truly when we worry, it's a waste of time. Whenever something comes up, you can either do something about it or not. But worrying about it truly doesn't help nothing. This is how you create these crazy realities. They're all based on fear, doubts, fears, insecurities, okay? Know the real truth. Make yourself a note. You know, affirmations, the, like these, these core truths, you know, that really get you through it. Not being lost in compartmentalization and details and going down long, windy rabbit holes and garden paths, okay? That lead, lead you into more and more confusion and compartmentalization and thinking you have it all figured out, but actually you're just stuck in another mind construct of this fakery. That's just my tip. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. This is, so to say, for free, all right? If you don't like it, change the channel, all right? The other song is The Best Things in Life Are Free. I always did like that song, so that's fun. So remember, truly, what we're accessing now is priceless realities, infinite abundance, okay? But you need to make that happen from the inside out as you claim your own inner abundance, the riches, the rubies, the emeralds, the peridots, the diamonds held inside of you. You have jewels inside of your light body. As you activate them, literally, they come alive outside. I actually, it's funny because I found a, a geode the other day outside in the garden. I was like, it was totally, where did that come from? I don't know, but I was thinking like, okay, so it's just going to pop up in our reality. And this is literally what it is, okay? We're blending reality fields right now. So the old is fading away along with the memories, which is what keeps all of this in place. Again, the thought forms, the beliefs we have, okay? If you keep feeding the false, the fakery, this false matrix, you know what I mean? You, you keep feeding it. You keep co-creating it. Whatever you focus upon, you keep help co-creating, whether it's good or bad. So be very conscious right now of that, okay? All right. So I leave it here. Infinite gratitude to you all hanging on in there, doing the good work. And thank you for all your support in all ways, shapes, and forms for those who do. And yeah, let's see. This is where literally it's all going to pop. This is big, massive manifestations, abundance, our biggest, wildest dreams fulfilled for those who've done the deep inner work. And again, all it truly takes for you to access this is to shift in consciousness and truly aligning with your real true self, okay? As I've been speaking about at length. So we leave it here. Uh, I probably won't be doing a video for a few days unless a bee uh, pokes me. I don't know where that comes from. <laughs> Silly, that's not an expression. Maybe I make that up. But anyway. Um, if I can help it, so to say, because I really truly need to also now, as the, the, really, the hard work is done and we're home, I can relax more and enjoy myself more and no longer need to put so much of my time and energy and focus into this and helping us all get there as one. Okay, again, what I do for you, I also do for me because we're all one. Okay, one for all, all for one, all for love. Remember, there is no separation. That's what causes the illusions. Let them fall along with the veil and reveal the really, truly real. And again, it's all down to the belief systems you hold inside of you. But truly, it's not about you making them up. It's about tuning into source and knowing real truth. Okay? That's the only way you know. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So much love, so many blessings. I see you there. Bye, bye, bye.